I would like to use this topic of uh, words uh, from the lecture of Dr. Uh, Subrata Banerjee to show you a few things about radio opus. First, let me remind you that uh, with the synthesis up, uh, you will have always with you the repertory. You can browse, look up, and word search for anything. You can even take symptoms in the clipboard. So even when you're at the patient's bedside, you can just take some symptoms, do an, an analysis, and you can send them to your own uh, email address. So when you come home, you can even continue to work with that same case. So here I'm in Radar Opus. And let me first uh, show you if there is a document about warts in general. So I do here warts. And yes, there is a repertory, a uh, Drake repertory in warts and condylomata. Um, then if I click here on references and I type wart, yes, there is a document, Kamtan remedies for pain and warts. Okay, let me remove this. So I have the full table of contents and let me close here these documents. So this is, of course, only... Uh, documents where in the title uh, the word ward or condylomata here is present. So now in the repertory, of course, you can look up rubrics uh, where you know they are located. So I'm here at skin wards. Now, if you want to look them up, you start to type on the keyboard the first characters of the chapter, then the rubric, or in the left upper corner, you can click here and then you type here on skin and you type warts and enter and you are there. So you also see here there is a cross-reverence, extrasensus condylomata. But if you're not sure where rubrics are located, you can do a word search. So let's do a word search through the repertory. At the top I can click here on the search, or on the keyboard I can do question mark, and now I'm in the simple search. I type here Ward, or wards, it doesn't matter, it will search both and enter. And I see here an overview of 183 rubrics with the word wards. Now it could be interesting to do an analysis of which remedies run most strongly through these rubrics. Now to do that, you can take these into a clipboard. Now to select them all on Windows, I say Control A, or on Mac, I do Command A. Uh, I have them all selected. I just drag it here to clipboard number one, and they are all taken into the clipboard. Now, to make this more interesting, let's also search on condylomata. Now, if I want to keep here this search result, so my first search on wards, I click here on add a new search. So I have here my previous search result, and here I can do a new search. So I search here for condylomata, enter, enter, and it found here 98 uh, robots with condylomata. If I also want to take these, I just do on Windows Control A and on Mac Command A to select them all, and then I take them and let me place them in a separate clipboard. If I place them in two clipboards, I can uh, differentiate them. I can repertorize only on clipboard one or only on clipboard two or both. Now, if I click here at the top on uh, analysis, I get the result of both clipboards. If I click here on one, this is the result of only the wards, and this is the result of only condylomata. Now, you see already here that uh, Tuya and Nitikam Asinum run quite strong through both. And let's, let me just uh, keep these in mind and uh, do a remedy uh, search on them later on. Now, if I go back here to my search, I still have both these search tabs open. And if I click here on this icon, I can get a graphical representation of my search. So here in blue, I see the results of warts, in orange of condylomata, and if I move to the right, you will see these remedies are only mentioned in one of them. So these are only present in rubrics with warts, and these are only present in a few rubrics of condylomata. 
Okay, let me close this graph and let's move on to the next topic. Until now I did a search through uh, uh, the repertory only, but you can also search through the whole library. So let me concentrate here on the word Word. Now I click here all documents and then the un unique thing of Radar Opus is that it searches through the complete library and all repertories and all other reference documents. So here at the left you see in one overview all the repertories where the word Ward is present and how often. There are concepts, Materia Medica, there are kinos, journals, therapeutics. Uh, it's just a huge list. And let me show you something interesting. So here are other therapies, philosophy, and proceedings, and here are clinical cases. So these are documents which uh, especially uh, are a compilation of uh, cases. Of course, in the other documents or in journals, you can also find interesting cases. Now let me just point out one document. I type here at the top, Morrison. And let me go here to Therapeutics, Morrison Desktop Companion. Here I see the search result, and I see that there is a chapter about Ward. So I double-click, and then I really open this document. So you see here I'm now in Desktop Companion of Roger Morrison, and I'm here at Wards. Now, uh, he starts with uh, pointing out all the interesting rubrics. And then if you go down, there are uh, differentiations between the key remedies of warts. So let me close this and let me close a few other documents. I'm here back in the repertory. And let's say I want to compare these two remedies. So Tuya and Nitkum Asim. So let's say I want to do a, a repertory search. So for this, I go to my advanced search. So here in the top toolbar, I click here, advanced search. And in the box of remedies, I type my remedy. So first I type Tuya. And if I just press enter, enter, it immediately does a repertory extraction, a repertory search. And I got here all rubrics where the where Tuya is present, and I have here 9,995. If I add here the remedy uh, Nitrum Asinum, and I do enter, and again enter, I now do a search for all rubrics where both are present. So you see I have now only 3,664. Now of course I did a, a search through the whole repertory, but it's also possible to do it through a small section or two or three sep uh, smaller sections of the repertory. Now these are all rubrics where both are present. So you see here Nitrum Asim is here a, a 3 and Tuya is here a 2 and there are four, 425 other remedies. Now I can do here for example also a comparison with uh, common and exclusive. So if I do that I will get three lists, one list which they have in common, and one list of the rubrics which they have individually. Uh, this is the top with the rubrics where they have uh, both uh, Tuya and Nitkum Asim. These are the rubrics where only Tuya is present and not Nitkum Asim, and here the opposite. So, okay, I think this was almost it. So, I would like to end by pointing out that the patient found radar opus is a very powerful uh, feature. Um, you can not only do a search through your text and search all consultations. So, here I have a patient, and, I, and if I have uh, several uh, consultations of this patient, I can do a word search in which consultation did I mention, for example, the word wards. Or I can do a more general search. And if I search then through all my patients, I can search, for, for example, through the symptoms, and I can say, which patients have I uh, used a certain rubric? 
So I now just uh, did a click and have an overview of all my uh, rubrics. But it's possible to do a specific search and say, which patients have I used the repertory symptom, for example, jealousy? Okay, this was it.